Are you a new business owner? Are you an aspiring coach? Do you have a side hustle? Well, baby, are you just ready to change your life and you know you got some stinky thinking that you need to get rid of? Listen, I have just the book for you, honey. Listen, today we're going to do a book review on the mindset because any of those categories, whether you have a business or not, this is perfect for you. You want to keep on watching, child, and subscribe, subscribe, so that you won't miss any of my future book reviews. I want to welcome you all to my channel. My name is Jackie McKeever. I have an MBA with a graduate certificate in accounting. And what I do is I help individuals just like you. I help you stop self-sabotaging. Okay, that's the biggest thing that keep you from being a success, okay? By me helping you stop self-sabotaging, that helps you take your life and your business back and all with the power of the pen, all with planning. And everything starts with the mind set, honey. And if you are a service-based business, Listen, I'm the perfect coach for you because what I do is I help you attract clients and close deals. But today we're talking about this book review, honey. <laughs> the book is right here, The Mind of an Entrepreneur by Wendy Mohammed. The Mind of an Entrepreneur by Wendy Mohammed. So y'all, let me tell y'all the story. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the book. You're like, well, Jackie, how did you find that book? Okay, how you find that book? Cause I be looking for books. I don't be finding a book like that. So, okay. So one of the things in, in order for you to be a successful entrepreneur or successful, whatever you are, it's important that you continue to learn. Okay, when you learn, you grow. So I was reviewing, um, I had some stinky thinking. I ain't gonna lie to you, I had some stinky thinking. I was feeling discouraged at the particular time. I'm talking about when I bought this book. Now, when I read this book was totally different. First of all, yes, I am a lover of books, right? I'm always looking for, um, I, generally the books that I read, I, I do read fiction because my next book review is gonna be The Walk of Fate. And it's a fiction book, but I also read nonfiction, right? And I have the desire to just be a better me, right? And me doing research and studying and looking for things that just makes me better. Like, I don't know, I don't have the desire to be perfect, but I have the desire to feel good, to be happy, and just be me and learn what I really want, right? So I did a search, right? I was doing a search on Amazon. I was doing search on just Audible. I was just looking, right? And I came across this book. And so I came across a lot of books. And so what I do is I read the reviews. Um, I don't recall how many reviews. I don't think it was a whole bunch of reviews on this book. And then I just kept looking into the, um, you know, the little part of the back of the book, you know, looking for the book and said, and I always go with my gut. I was like, you know, this may be a good book for me. And, but I kept, as I kept looking at other books, I couldn't get this book off my mind. So guess what? I went back during my search and I purchased this book. And let me tell you, it was a blessing from God. It was a blessing from God. Child, when I tell you this book is good, I'm about to give y'all, see, I folded some pages this time because the last time I did a book review, this is a short read. Like I really could have read this book in an hour, but I decided to just take my time. So I absorb because the book itself is only a hundred pages. It's only a hundred pages. Like look at this this book is not very thin right um if you are an avid reader you know if you like to read like i do it 
probably take you even less than an hour, depending on how much attention. But it was so interesting when I first started reading this book, how she was saying some of the things. And I bought this book from, I actually bought this book from Goodwill. You can like purchase it. You can purchase through Amazon, you know, used books. I actually bought this book used. I saw it new, but I bought it used. I bought it used. Um, yeah, because I said it belonged on my shelf and it was in good condition. So I'm going to start reading a few uh, spoilers for you. Some of these quotes, quotes from the book, and I'm going to tell you why I read it. So here's a quote. It says, whenever you need to challenge yourself to think in a more expanded way, ask yourself, what did I show up on the planet to do? I was like, okay, go deep, Wendy. You going deep, honey. So I began to add, I didn't write this down at, at, the, at the first time I read it, but as I started reading um, a little more, she said the best way to start thinking about out of the box is to first identify and challenge all the assumptions that you feel are limiting your progress or the psychologically imprisoning you. So let's start by writing down the goal. I'm like, Wendy knew I wasn't writing it down. I just read this thing on this on on this page. Then I flip on a page, and she gonna tell me to write it down. So guess what, baby? I wrote it down. Okay, I wrote it down. And it says next, write down your worries and your fears about completing that step. Those are limiting thought, limiting thoughts that you need to overcome. Finally, write down what you need what you need to believe in order to take the step and find success. You know, it's easy. Me as a coach, it's really, really easy to help each, you know, other people. But when you're dealing with your own stuff, you know, it's challenging. And so. I am, I have a goal. I have a goal that I just recently achieved, right? And if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll see what that goal is. And I was like feeling some type of way, like I was having this, this upper limit situation at the time. And I was like, Jackie, what is wrong with you? Mm -mm. That ain't God. God has designed you to be successful, honey. So I had to um, check myself and then grab a hold of some mindset affirmation. I can learn from my mistakes, okay? I can improve by working hard. I will never give up. I am determined to do my best. Self-reflection will help me succeed. I can overcome any challenge with effort and I can retrain myself, my mind, my life. Okay, that's my affirmation, honey. I had to get it together. Well, this is part one of this book review. I wanted to keep it short, but I actually have a lot of things to say. If you want to hear more about this mindset book, because I have a lot of pages, a lot of information that I'm going to give you in the future based on this information book. This is a, a wonderful, amazing book. I want to suggest that you get the mind of an entrepreneur, whether you have a business or not. It's perfect for someone who wants success in the area, whether you want success, whether you're dieting, dieting and you want success and that you know you got some stinky thinking you know you have some limiting belief you know you have some upper limit challenges that you're going through and you want to be able to overcome it this is perfect book for you you may be going to school and you may be struggling in school or having fresh struggling between your social life your home life your family life and and what you really want to do and you know that it's a mindset thing. This book is for you. If you have your own service-based, product-based business, this book is for you. This book, I mean, you know, 
uh, a lot of times coaches teach you to focus on one thing, but regardless of whichever one you you fit in, this book is perfect for you because she doesn't she doesn't just focus on entrepreneurship. Her thing is focusing on limited belief throughout the book. And this is what makes this amazing book. And like I said, it's a short read. It's short and simple and to the point anyway. So that is uh, the book review for The Mind of an Entrepreneur by Wendy Mohammed. If you want to hear more about this book, I want to hear it in the comments and I'll do a part two. If not, I'll see you on the next book review. And don't forget, thank you so much for subscribing and don't forget to like and comment. Tell me what book you're reading. Tell me if you want to hear more about this book or something else. Type it in a comment. I'll see you next time, go-getters.